No matter how hard I try, I cannot recall what it was like being dead. I know that I was, but I have no idea what it was like. I was actually dead for a pretty long time too. Based on what I've been told, I was dead for between 13.7 and 13.8 billion years. Regardless of whether we want to admit it, we all fear death. The awareness of our impending mortality is one of, if not the most influencing force on our experience of life. The things we do, the thoughts we have, the feelings we experience. Everything is driven by both our unconscious nature to stay clear of death and our conscious awareness of the fact that at some point we will have to face it. Our bodies and minds are mere rentals gifted to us by the universe for a vacation of conscious physical existence and at some point they must be returned. The place in which they return to, however, is the same place in which we received them from. Whatever that experience of no experience was before I was born, the 13.73 billion years of time, energy and matter that I can't recall or describe, the thing that I manifested out of and the thing that I would dissolve back into, I have already experienced it. You have already experienced it. We have all already experienced it. Even if you believe that your spirit, soul, energy, or whatever else you might call it is infinite, then its infiniteness must go both forward and back. If you believe in an afterlife, then in principle there must be a before life, because if you end up somewhere after physical conscious form, then you must have come from somewhere before physical conscious form. And if you argue that you must be born physically to access an afterlife, you are declaring that you must be a physical entity to access a non-physical thing, which completely folds in on itself. Arguably, no matter how hard we might try to paint a picture of something different after this life, there appears to be no way around the idea that in terms of personal experience, whatever came before our life is what will essentially come after. This means that you have been dead before. You know what it is like. To your conscious, subjective self, for lack of better terms, it is like absolutely nothing. This nothing is not the sort of nothing that we typically consider nothing to be. It is a nothing that we cannot describe, understand, or recall, a subsistence far beyond our consciousness and sense of self, something that doesn't require either, and thus to our consciousness and sense of self, it is nothing. This nothing, however, is not scary. Before you were born, you were perfectly fine with this nothing, perhaps more fine than you can even fathom. Being dead is not scary. The conscious thought of dying without being at terms with it is scary. Naturally, coming to terms with our mortality is extremely difficult. We rarely ever discuss or address it at a level of self-honesty and vulnerability. It is rare that death, in any real sense, comes up in conversation, and it is rare that we ever deeply meditate on the fact that we will all die sometime in the relatively near future. However, it is essential that we do confront the thought of death regularly and honestly. By becoming deeply aware of our mortality, we intensify our experience of every aspect of life, writes author Robert Greene. No matter what we do to veil or distract ourselves away from the awareness of death, the awareness will continue to buzz inside of us. When we do not address and embrace the buzzing, it only becomes louder and more intrusive. It causes us to feel intensifying levels of anxiety, aversion and disorientation. Instead, we must learn how to live with this buzzing and transmute it into the sound of life itself. We must accept death as an essential part of life. 
Doing things the second time around is almost always less intimidating than the first. So if we consider the idea that we have already experienced what it means to be dead and come to terms with the fact that we will experience it again and be totally and utterly okay, then death becomes easier to face, easier to reduce our fear and apprehension towards. To reduce our fear of death is to crack open the door to life itself we become more inspired to do things that are interesting, exciting and fulfilling, rather than being stuck in a cycle of wasting time, feeling anxious and latching on to material distractions. At some point, we will lose our ability to experience things as we know them. Like it or not, that is the condition of our human experience. If we wish to make the most of our human experience, instead of living in spite of its conditions, we must accept them. Like a vacation to our favourite destination, we should not let our awareness of the trip's end date ruin our vacation. For if a vacation went on forever, it would no longer be a vacation at all. Against all odds, we were given the opportunity to go on this vacation, to experience nature perceiving itself. Ironically, our fear of losing our ability to experience this is what can ruin our ability to ever actually enjoy it. And we mustn't let this happen and squander such a gift. More than death itself, we should fear never overcoming the idea of death while we are alive. We should fear not appreciating life and death for what they are, while we can. Thank you for watching. If you found enjoyment and value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you are not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We are constantly coming out with new videos to help you experience life with clarity and wonder.